Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who do not know me, I am Jaina, welcome. Welcome to the first part in Foundation Fridays, a new part series that I am going to be doing. Every Friday, I'm gonna be releasing an extra video to my Wednesday videos for all of you to enjoy over the weekend. And I'm super excited to start Foundation Fridays with a new foundation called the e.l.f. Cosmetics CC Camo Foundation. I have been wanting to try this foundation. For those of you who know me know I absolutely love e.l.f. Cosmetics. The brand is super affordable. It's probably my favorite high street brand. Um, I love all of the products they do. They're really innovative with what they come out with. Their different shades aren't so repetitive as well. I really love it. One of the, my favorites from them is the Putty Primer. I just thought it was so different, so nice. It feels amazing on the skin and it is an amazing affordable price. So when I saw that they took out the Camo CC foundation, I was like, your sis has to try this foundation. Like I need to try it and I need to report back to you guys my thoughts on this. Is it brown girl approved? Can we get the shade right? I'm hoping so. Like they had a little quiz that kind of told me uh, what kind of colours go with which skin tone. So I thought that might be super helpful. So I'll put this right here. It is a colour correcting full coverage foundation. It is SPF 30 and it is a natural finish. So it's full coverage yet natural finish. So we want to see how this works on my skin. As you can see, I have quite dark and dry and I have quite a lot of scars on it my cheeks so we want to see if it actually covers those up and what kind of finish we get for it and i'm also going to be wearing it for kind of six to eight hours to just give it a trial test to see if it can really handle the day without caking or without kind of separating itself but i am super excited about trying this it does say it's full of skin loving ingredients such as collagen and peptides so it's amazing. One big bonus is, like I said, it contains SPF 30, which is amazing to have in a foundation. Anything that you put on your face during the day it needs to have SPF to stay protected. So really excited about this. So we're just going to go straight in with it. I actually got this in the shade medium 310, which is kind of, it has cool peach undertones. So we're going to go with it. Let's see if it is near enough my skin tone. I think the packaging itself is super sleek. It is really nice. It does remind me of the It Cosmetics. Yes, I think it was a dupe or is a dupe. However, I've not tried the It Cosmetics. It's um, not something that's really been on my list. As soon as I saw this, I just wanted to get it. I really love the holographic here and I just think it's super sleek. It's really sm like, it's a full size foundation. However, it's super easy to kind of fit in a makeup bag or anything like that. So I definitely like the packaging. It says apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clean skin using the complexion duo brush to achieve the airbrush finish. So I actually don't have that brush on me, but I do have the e.l.f. small stipple brush. So I'm going to be using that. But also as it's a full coverage foundation, I like to go in with full coverage with my beauty blender. You know the score. So I'm going to be using my beauty blender to kind of get as much coverage as I can. But I'll also go in with my brush around my nose and eyes just to kind of see if it needs building up, but we're gonna see how it works. So let's go, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like I said, you'll be getting two videos for the next four weeks. So I'm gonna start by prepping my face with a little setting spray and I'm gonna be using the Revolution Infinite Setting Spray. I'm just gonna spray all over my face. I find um, using a setting spray on my face to kind of set my foundation just really helps with like full coverage to kind of like make sure it's not cakey. I'm then also going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer as my primer to set that and I'm just going to take a couple of pumps of that and I'm going to just apply it on my kind of target areas. I have already done my eyebrows and I do have mascara on, so I didn't look just as dead. I mean, my eye and dries are bad. So we're going to go in and we're going to take, I'm just going to give it a shake. We're going to take two pumps of this to start. Well, like two in a bit. Um, I'm actually going to go in with the brush first and we're just going to see how that kind of, okay, it's a lot more full coverage than I thought. I thought I was going to go in with really light. Do you think this could be? Oh, I think this is too light. No. I 
think this colour might be a little bit light. I think it's a little bit orange on the undertone as well. But I just want to show you, I think I've probably used a pump on the side of my face. I also don't think you need that much. But can you just see already the complexion difference? Like, yes, the shade might not be mine or as close as we would like it. But can you just see how it's really just, it's completely changed my complexion in terms of it has just taken all of the colour variations out of my face and made it an even skin tone and I absolutely love that. I think I'm going to apply the other side with a beauty blender just to kind of see the coverage we can get from a beauty blender. I'm going to zoom in so you can so just have a lot of redness here, um, very slight redness here. It's not as bad today, sometimes it can get quite red, but can you just see the difference in the colour correcting that it has achieved with one layer? So it's definitely buildable, but I don't think you have to build it up. So I'm going to go in and do this side with a beauty blender just to see kind of the difference we get. So I have a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to take some of that product and I'm just going to apply that all. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting up close and personal for this next bit because I just wanted to show you how good this coverage is. For a CC cream, this is amazing. This product is under £20. Like how much do you spend on foundation? I know we're not going anywhere, but how much do you spend on foundation to kind of get this coverage? I'm going to go around and beauty blend my whole face just so we can see. I definitely think it's, it's a little bit peach. I think I, I don't think I should have gone for the peach undertone but I think we can fix it with concealer okay I wanted to love this product so much and I feel like I do I feel like the coverage is amazing there is a lot of sheen going on here and that is quite my like my oily spots anyway so I definitely want to powder that up just to kind of take away that but it is a very dewy foundation so if you do like that dewy look great I do like it but it's a little bit too oily for me right now over here you can actually build it up. I don't think I want to build it up with another colour because I kind of just want to see. I want to do the the wear trial with just one coat so we can see kind of what it's doing. I think as well, it has a slight hint of SPF. So I know there's SPF in there, but I don't find it overpowering. And you can't really smell it unless you're looking to smell it, if that makes sense. So I really like that. I'm actually just amazed at the coverage that it's given on one. I definitely think that I still need coverage under my eyes. Um, and I also think, like I said, I just need to de-shine these bits here just to make it more of a wear out kind of full coverage. But apart from that, I'm actually loving this on my skin. I think it's sitting so nice on my skin. I'm really excited to see what it looks like in a couple of hours. I do anticipate it being quite shiny in a couple of hours. It is super lightweight foundation, um, but the coverage is really there. So I think if you're looking for something that is really lightweight, barely there, but full coverage in terms of it covers up any kind of blemishes, any kind of pigmentation you have, this has been amazing for that. So I definitely recommend it for that. Hi guys, so I am back. I have done my full face of makeup and I just want to say that I don't really have a negative about this. I want to say foundation, but it's a CC cream, but the coverage you get from it is like a foundation. Um, I actually used my e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer on top and obviously they're both quite hydrating products, um, but they went really well together. They the concealer did not overshine my nose. It just blended really well together. And I don't know if you can see like just how flawlessly they blend into each other. Like I'm amazed that they kind of worked really well together. I was kind of expecting them to be a bit too hydrating together, but they weren't. So I definitely recommend that. And if you are a fan of the e.l.f. Camo Cosmetics Concealer, definitely go and try this CC 
cream and I kind of just use my Laura Mercier setting powder all over my face. It's a really lightweight setting powder. I didn't want anything that was kind of full coverage or any banana powder that was going to take away the colour. But I do feel like if I was to use banana powder under my eyes, that would just elevate how full coverage my under eyes look and how blurred they look. I also set my face using the Revolution Pro... Um, Conceal and Define setting spray, the one that I used earlier. I will put all the products that I have used in the drop down with a link to where you can purchase them. Um, I do think when I first applied it, I thought, oh, maybe the color is a little bit off for my skin. But now that I have done my full face, I actually don't think that this color match is bad on my skin. I think I could have got better, yes, but when I'm looking at it, I definitely don't think that there's anything wrong. Like I would not hesitate to go out I mean, I'm not going out because we're in lockdown, but I'm, I mean, it's, it's about one o'clock now. So I am still going to wear it for the day. I've got loads of bits to do around the house this weekend. I want to clean up my bathroom and change my sheets. So I'm hoping that kind of it will face those tasks. My other makeup went on so well after. And I don't know if you can kind of see like when I turn my head, like the coverage it has here which is normally my problem areas. Like I just feel like my scars always tend to come through or it's just never as full, but it looks so flawless here that I'm just, I don't even have words for how full coverage this foundation is, for how lightweight it feels. And for under 20 pounds, it's amazing. My only downfall would be the fact that I think they only have about 20 to 25 colors of this, found, um, of this CC cream. I think if this product does amazing and as amazing as it is doing right now, that e.l.f. should obviously introduce more colours because everybody needs to try this in their life. Like, I'm not going to try and persuade you to buy it because that is not my job. I'm just here to tell you how amazing it is. Like, I'm just... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm going to zoom. I actually think I found my new favourite foundation. Like, the price of it alone is enough for me to be like, right, see you later, <laughs> because the more you use this and obviously the more you want to buy it you're not spending a lot of money but the coverage is so full like like i said this was from one layer of one coat of the cc cream and i generally don't think i need to go in with a second it really sits well on my skin tone on asian skin um like i just don't really have a negative one last thing i do have to say about this is I did like the fact that it was so full coverage when I applied it with the brush. With the Beauty Blender, I love blending out full coverage with a Beauty Blender, but you can kind of see that the coverage is a lot better on this side of my face with the brush. So I do recommend if you are going to try it, do try it with a brush. Try it with a Beauty Blender as well. Let me know how you get on. But if you want that really full coverage, then definitely invest in the brush. So I will link the brush that they recommend using with below as well. Um, so you can try that out as well. I will be back later on this evening to show you how well this foundation has lasted. So I am back guys and it is half nine at night. So I've had this foundation on pretty much for the day. One thing I need to show you is, oh, look at this bleach on my top. Like what has happened? I was cleaning the bathrooms, didn't think I would need to change. And obviously I got bleach while I was cleaning the bath. Rookie mistake. Back to that big question is this cc cream worth it yes 100 percent. it is worth it it is worth the price because it is barely anything compared to other foundations that you use to achieve such a full coverage is it brown girl approved yes it is brown girl approved this coverage is amazing i definitely feel like the color got better on my skin through the day but i don't feel like it oxidized and went orange you can just see the full coverage effect that it still has left on my skin the only thing i would have to say is it is a very hydrating cc cream and um, so if you have oily skin just be very aware that is a hydrating foundation full coverage cc cream you can see here here and here where that my natural oils have come out these are my shiny spots i have a really oily t-zone you can literally see it on my nose it does look like the color has come away a little bit on my nose and kind of here and that's where i've just been blowing my nose or where i've been eating as well i haven't touched my face all day the only thing i've done is applied my lips again before filming this i would have to say as well is i did get some creasing under my eye so you can see the product crease and that's obviously with the concealer and um, setting them both as well. That is the only downfall I have to say. 
This CC cream is amazing. The price is amazing. The fact that is so lightweight. I have not felt like I've been wearing makeup all day. That's probably the biggest takeaway from this. The coverage is so full. Like I would happily wear this in photos or to an event because it is taken away all my blemishes. It's taken away literally everything. My skin looks flawless, but I feel like I'm not wearing any makeup. It is so lightweight. Um, so that is definitely, definitely the best positive I have from this, along with the price. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. Yes, I'm a little bit shiny, but I am now ready to take off my makeup for the day. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I will link all of the products I have used, along with the brush, which they recommend to use in the drop down below. And I will see you next week for two new videos.